Good day! In this video, we are going to try to solve question 2A of the 2022 NCA Level 3 Statistics paper. It's called Probability Concepts. Without further ado, let's read the question. The University of Auckland or Waipapa Taumata Rao is the largest university in New Zealand. The following table shows the number of male and female students attending university from 2017 to 2020. So we're going to bring it up a bit, okay? Okay, so we can see the answer, okay? So, in the table here, we have number of male, number of female in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. So the first thing we do in a table, we're going to add the total of male and female. So we add these two numbers. In 2017, the total is 42,302 students. In 2018, it's going to be 42,717. 2019, when you add up the male and female, it's 43,042. And in 2020, it's going to be 42,825. So the question asks you, which year from 2017 to 2020 had the largest of male student attending Auckland University. So what we're going to do, for 2017, we take the male student over the total, so 18.168 divided by 42.302, and it comes up to 0 0.4295. Similarly, for 2018, we're going to do the same. We take the male student, which is 18.192, divided by total, 42.717, and the answer comes up to 0 0.42595. And similarly, for 2019 and 2020, we do the same. We take the male number, divided by the total, and the proportion for male in 2019 is 0.4251, and in 2020 is 0.4218. And you can see, it's a decreasing trend, from 4295 to 425 to 425, and then back to 4218. So the question asks you, which year from 2017 to 2020 had the greatest number of male attending Auckland University? So the answer is 2017, which is the highest number of male proportion at 0 0.4295 or 42.95 of the students are male. So if you can answer that, that I think is going to be a merit okay, in this paper. Okay, so now we're going to do part two of question 2a part 2 is another merit question so the, we read the question again we read the table here okay provide two reasons why the proportion calculated in part 1 are only estimates of the true probability of students being male at Auckland University in that year so we are going to give you four, but you only need to have two. Okay, the data 2017 and 2020 is old, is not recent, so may not be applicable in this case. Second reason, part-time student may be improperly included in this data for the year. So maybe there are some part-timers who shouldn't be included in that data. 2020 is the year where the start of COVID, so tracking of data during that year might be more difficult, and that's increasing the chance of error. And last but not least, students during the year may drop out and this will affect the male proportion or proportion in the university during the year. So I give you four reasons, you need only two. If you can get two of them right, that will give you a merit. And if you can answer question 2A, you will get two merit and there will be an M6 in this paper. So hopefully you go through this paper again and see you in question 2B in the next video. See you soon and ciao!